The first thing i do after reading the problem would be to grab a textbook or some kind of other simple explanation of the body of law to which the problem relates to get a general overview and bird's eye understanding of what you need to know and what the issues will be that you'll be arguing in front of the judges for the moot. One of the most important things about preparing for a competition is making sure that you've got the best ideas and the best arguments before you go in. One of the really good ways in which you can do this is to talk to your team members about the ideas and arguments you're having. If you do this, then they're able to tell you whether they agree with what you're saying, whether they think it's logical, or whether perhaps there might be something better that you can go and look at. They can then give you a hand in your research and helping you come up with the best ideas that you possibly can. Sometimes it can be really challenging to speak conversationally when you've practised your mood over and over again. So I always like to just dot point what I'm going to say and then at least one practice moot, just have no notes in front of you um, and really just have a conversation with the judge and do this as much as possible before you get to the real thing. When I first started mooting, I was unbelievably nervous. Not even nervous, petrified. But what I did was eventually I taught my mind to pretend not to be nervous on the outside. So I think this in turn sort of tricked myself into believing that I wasn't nervous and I focused more on what I was doing than on how my hands were shaking and how my voice was crackling. And I think this is my main tip for any high school mooter when they're trying to keep themselves from showing nerves. When you're actually giving the presentation in a moot, it's very, very important to make sure that you don't distract the judge. There's a number of things that people do that are bad habits that do distract the judges and it's really important to make sure that those kind of things don't happen. Taking up a pen that you're going to click or distract the judge with, having papers that you're shuffling too much or hand gestures that are too over the top are things that you need to try and avoid so that you can give the best presentation you can.